Hello everyone, this is Neil from Link and welcome to this update video just running through some new capabilities that we've recently added into the Link platform. The first I'd like to show you is an update to system cost. Now this is a conversation that we've been having for a long time with our customers. How do we better reflect the cost of the system in our modeling? Uh, systems are more complex than people because we can't really allocate the cost until we understand all of the usage of the system through the organization. And of course, we, we get there after a very long period of time. So we have taken uh, an approach in consultation with some of our customers to add an hourly rate into the system node. So this will work in the same way as the people node. So right now, you know, you can add an hourly rate to a person. So here's me, $100 an hour. And this cost is used to calculate the cost of the action. So if I have an action that takes an hour and it happens once a year, uh, the cost of the action is $100. With the system, now I can add an hourly rate in. So the CRM might cost us $100 an hour. If I add that into uh, Link, you can see the action cost jumps up to $200 an hour. Now that just puts an emphasis on you to think about the hourly cost of your systems um, obviously, you might want to account for the capital cost, the operational cost, maintenance cost. It might be a subscription. And you'll want to think about the number of users and the accessibility they have to that platform in order to, to calculate that cost. But however you want to do it, really, we've just decided to give you the opportunity to add that cost in if you know it. If you don't, then it's there's no change. Uh, car carry on as normal. But this cost will now, of course, carry with the system if I take uh, my CRM at $100 an hour and I connect it to my action. So this is the CRM automating this action. If I now use the duration and the frequency to come up with a cost for this action, one hour for once a year, you can see that um, the cost of $100 an hour is calculated for me. That doesn't stop you from manually adding those costs if you don't know them. So in the circumstance where you have a person and a system or just a system, connected to an action, you still have the ability to come in and manually add a cost uh, against the action. So there's we've made that slightly easier for you. Um, this is not the case. If you do add an hourly rate to the person or the system, it will expect you then to use the duration and frequency. So that's, that's the first change, just making it uh, a bit easier for you to now consider the cost of the system uh, within the modeling that you're doing. The second change that we've made is a usability enhancement in terms of modeling from current state to future state. So specifically, we wanted to make it easier for you to think about the actions that were taking place and how they might change as a result of the transformation that you want to implement. And one of the most common things is I've got a manual process today and I'm going to do some change and that process is going to become automated with a system. So in order to facilitate that, uh, we've just created some new connections that you're able to make and some behavior associated with those. So let's run through them. So in, in link set three here, you can see I've got Julia using the CRM to perform this action and then she uses Excel up here. Uh, but in the future state, I might uh, know that I can automate this ac action with the CRM. So now I'm able to pick the CRM up from a, a node that I have existing in the sketch and I can drop it onto the action and this action will now become automated. The Julia node and the Excel node have disappeared. So just be aware that that is part of the behavior. Um, I can, of course, go the other way. I can say, well, this action was automated, but actually I've got that wrong. Julia still needs to have an input here, but she is using the CRM. So I could take Julia as a node, I can drop it onto this action and it will insert Julia uh, between the CRM and the action node. So you can see here, Julia's just been popped into that um, into that process. So it's very simple for you to uh, pick up content that you already have um, and think about the, the changes that you want to make. But you can do it with new nodes as well. So we're able to pick a people node um, off the palette and I can drop it onto this action that's currently being performed by the CRM and uh, it will insert the person into that flow. Equally, I could pick a system up or I have Jeff down here doing some work in the CRM and show that it's gonna be automated with something new. I can drop the, the system in and then maybe, maybe label it. And that's uh, very easy for me to, to make that change. So those are 
some really simple um, ways of just being able to run through your sketch and make changes based on how you believe the, the processes will be run in the future after changes have been made. Um, it's super fast, it's pretty intuitive, the costs of people and the costs of systems will carry with these nodes as you make use of them and of course if you pick up new nodes off the palette and drop them then you're going to have to define what those systems are and how much they cost. But we believe this will be um, a really easy way for you to start thinking about uh, modeling the change between current and future state. So that's it for this video, nice short and sharp. If you have any questions please feel free to get in touch with us. Of course there's more content on support.link.it and there's more, more content on our website and of course our YouTube channel has plenty of other materials for you to uh, enjoy. Thanks very much for your time and we'll see you again soon.